Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Loki. <laughs> Please sorry about my voice. I'm still trying to, you know, get over this flu, but that doesn't stop us from having beautiful tutorials. Yes. Today's class is going to be on how to make this lovely sleeve we have here. Can you see that? I've made this sketch and I'm going to show you how to cut it and how to sew it up to have a beautiful sleeve. If today is your first time checking out my channel, please make sure you subscribe and tap on the notification bell. Please follow me on Instagram, Blue Signatures, and on Facebook, Sewing Innovation. My other channel, Half Pattern Drafting with Blue Keys, Blue Keys Kitchen. Please check them out and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Blue Keys Signatures, and on Facebook, Sewing Innovation. So right now, let's go to the work table to get started. This is what we are going to be doing. So looking at it, this is what the sleeves look like. I have just my pattern for a basic bodice then the fabric i'll be using you can decide to mix up the patterns as is you could decide to have the same fabric for this and the different fabric for this or three different fabrics or the same fabric for this and this and different for this so that total depends on your preference so another thing we need to determine is the length from the shoulder down to the hem of the of the sleeve like for instance for me my sleeve length from my shoulder to my wrist is 24 inches but the beauty of this kind of sleeve is it getting to somewhere around here that totally depends on your preference but i think it's gonna look nice so but i'm working with a medium sleeve not actually mine so and for her it is 22 inches 22 inches for the sleeve so but because i wanted to get somewhere around here for her so i'm just going to add extra two inches to make it 24. so i'm working with 24 inches so what do i do here now i will make sure from here to here like if i'm making for myself eight inches is okay but for someone smaller seven you could even have it to somewhere here or to your elbow level that totally depends on your preference it's not necessarily have to be above your elbow so you can either make, uh, make it stop anyway so for her now i'm going to make here eight inches eight inches so when i take eight inches away from 24 that means i'm going to be having that should be four or four, another four that should be 16 so i should be left left with 16 inches now so this is eight inches the remaining one is 16 inches so we need to determine how much we are going to use for this ruffle here but i think three inches is fine do you understand and then the remaining flare so that means we have to deduct three inches from here to give us 13. so that means this is going to be 13 inches this is very important so with all this measurement now we can start working on our sleeve so eight inches for the main sleeve 13 inches and then three inches so let's set that aside this is the basic sleeve I'm just going to measure here i have eight inches remember i want the main sleeve to be eight inches so that's just going to be straight then i'm going to cut that off then cut your fabric so this is the sleeve we're working on so this is going to be cut out on fold so let's quickly cut, talk about how to cut the sleeve how am i going to do this uh, the flare if that is very easy i'm just going to make use of the same paper i cut off because we won't have the same measurement just fitting into the sleeve so what do i do just get your paper that's the leftover because i'm not ready to do any calculations let me see that you can use your ruler there's no need time to start calculating and i'm just going to cut off very close but i'm not cutting through After cutting it this way, I'm just going to keep it aside. The thread we have on the sleeve is a half circle, not a full circle. A full circle that will too full. Circle, you are just going to fold this way.
Let me see the way I fold it. So this is how you should fold. So this is a half circle. If it is a full circle, then you fold again. We are just folding for a half circle. And then note, for the flare, we need 13 inches. So for that, you can fold around 16 inches because of the curl. So having done this, then I'm just going to place this here. And this, that would be, just be very easy. So just open it up. Okay, first I can pin this down. Then try to adjust this. So this place is not straight. Just make sure this touch the end of that part. And I think it's okay this way. We have successfully created the core. Can you see that? And from her diagram, remember it is 13 inches, but I'm going to be cutting out 14. Why? That is because I will need half an inch to join it back to the basic sleeve and also half an inch to join it to the lower ruffles. So that makes a total of 14. So what do I do next? First, let me just mark this out. So I can just remove this. So let me just mark that correctly so that it will show. So can you see this saves us the stress of calculating? So now I can start measuring the 14 inches. Let's keep rotating it. Let me see how I'm measuring that. Our 40 inches is done. Can you see how easy we cut that out? see how beautiful that is so this is the flare so what I'm going to do now is to cut out the basic sleeve too this has to be on fold before we cut out the ruffles now I have cut the basic sleeve can you see the sleeve is taking shape so this is the basic sleeve and remember if you are cutting for two sleeves I'm just cutting out a sleeve that's because I'm making a tutorial everything will be in two so with one and half yard you should be able to cut both sleeve so this is the basic sleeve on fold. This is also the flare that we just cut out. So everything has to match. If you follow everything properly, can you see that? So that's beautiful. Now for the lower uh, ruffle. So I just took a leftover fabric I have. So how do you know the amount of fabric to, to use for the ruffle? Just measure whatever you have at the hem of your flare. So here I have 30 inches. So that 30 inches, the minimum you should do is to double it to give you 60 inches. But you can use times three of that just to make it fuller. So here I just have two fabric which I'm going to join. The first one is, this is 28. So 28 times two, I'm having 56 for one. 56 for one. So whereas if I double it, I'll have 60 inches, so I still need to have some more. But I just want it to be full as possible, so I'm having this 58 times 2. So this is another long fabric. And you see, I'm just going to join it up. So I'm going to join it up to start um, attaching it here. And then you might be wondering the length we cut out. I've explained initially it was 3 without seam allowance. But because we need half an inch to join into the flare, then we also need one inch to hem the lower part. So that means one and a half to three, which will give us four and a half. So here I have 
four and half and you see that four and half inches in height and then in length as long as possible so that's good so the first thing i'm going to do is to attach these upper parts that is the flare to the basic sleeve and first you match it over the middle first for pinning it but everything just has to match can you see that so perfect so i'm going to go to the uh, sewing machine now and just sewing half an inch because that was the same allowance we left and then i'm going to join these two strip of fabric together what i'm going to do is to just notch it because of the curve Good. So this is what we're going to be having. After giving it a good press, let me see that's beautiful. Let's give it a good press. And this is what we are going to have. Can you see that? So the next thing now is to attach this lower part. Right now I've joined it. Please, when you are making your own fabric, always use the same color of thread but because i'm making a tutorial i like using contrasting thread so that you see what i'm doing so first you won't forget the one inch we left so just fold in half an inch then half an inch again you're going to sew that all through so after doing that then you can now start pleating and attaching to the hand of the flare how do we do that? It's just a knife pleat. So you just pleat randomly. You can either pleat this way or that way. So that depends on you. So first you must have hemmed the lower part. Then attach. So you can either fold this way. I think it's really easier this way. Let me see this. Then you leave about one inch space again then you fold. So that is why it is good you have enough fabric. Make sure it's just a very long strip of fabric. So you keep pleating along the curve that way. So you just use your discretion. Let me see that. So that's how I'm going to attach all through and then sew just half an inch because that was what we left. So this is what we want to have at the end of the day. So beautiful. The lower part and you can see how beautiful the sleeve looks like. Can you see that? So another thing I wanted to tell you, I had to add extra fabric to it. This is it. I need to tell you that. So I made use of the length of 120 inches. Actually, I measured 30 inches. So that's like times four. So that means when you're making yours for the lower part, just cut as long as possible. So whatever you get here, so just multiply that. So having done that now, you see how beautiful the sleeves look like. Please, you really need to make an outfit using this type of sleeve. Can you see that? So by the time it is on you, so it's kind of falls here and it's just beautiful. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to turn it to the wrong side now. I've not given it a good press, so it's not really sleeping well. So I'll go to the uh, sewing machine again and now have to sew in one inch because I've already had a similar allowance to the pattern I made use of. I forgot to tell you that. So I'm going to take in one inch and sew that down. This is how beautiful it looks. This is just so beautiful. So give it a good press and attach to your dress. Can you see that? Can you see that circle? So this is what the sleeve looks like. So by the time it is being attached, that is when the beauty of the circle is going to show. Can you see that? So that's the beauty of the circle by the time it's being attached. So this place falls straight and everything just looks like this. Can you see that? So this is what you're going to have. So this now form a circle on you. I have attached the sleeve to the mannequin just for you to get what I was talking about. So when you look at the end of the basic sleeve, it is just so straight. Can you see that? 
And looking at the circular formation is just so marvelous. Can you see how straight this looks like? That was what I was talking about when I was explaining to you. So that is just a sleeve to have. So just make sure you give it a try and attach your dress. So you can tag me on Instagram, Blakey Signatures, with your outcome, and on Facebook, Sewing so Innovation. If this tutorial has been helpful, please give me a giant thumbs up. I remain your girl, Blakey's Bye.